Good morning. I'm Shingo Okawa. I'm an athlete ambassador with Gravel. Uh, we're an Italian hardware manufacturer, uh, 202 years old this year. And today uh, I'm here to talk about how to fit uh, an ice climbing crampon. Uh, now, before we discuss uh, the crampon fit, uh, we should probably examine first the choice of footwear. Uh, now, ice climbing, I would argue, uh, is obviously very important with hardware, tools, and crampons, but uh, equally as important would be, I'd say, the fit of uh, the type of boot one wears. Now, for ice climbing, we wear a very special type of boot, uh, a mountaineering boot that has uh, essentially rigidity throughout the entire sole length. Uh, the demands of, of climbing vertical ice have us standing on a point that's extended beyond the length of our own foot, so we're cantilevering quite a bit of our body weight uh, using our footwear. Now, if we don't have something that's fully rigid the length of the entire uh, sole length, uh, we would expend way too much energy in our calves and our musculature to maintain position on the nice climb. So one of the things that we rely on is a very, very stiff, rigid boot that doesn't necessarily walk all that well, but for climbing it has all the, the function that we need. It's going to allow us to stand more or less on a plank. Now, when we look at those types of boots, most of our fully rigid mountaineering boots are going to feature uh, two uh, additional sort of surfaces which will enable us to fit uh, what we call a grill, a crampomatic crampon or a full stepping crampon. Now the parts that I'm referring to here would be the toe welt. You see there's another horizontal surface underneath the toe and then again a corresponding one on the heel. Now in order to fit a crampomatic crampon from Gravel, that is to say a full step in, uh, full step in crampons are going to feature a wire toe veil as well as a wire, steel wire uh, heel veil as well. In order to fit these, we're going to require those two surfaces on our boots. Now, when we're looking at Gravel's uh, crampons, uh, we want to discuss sort of two major adjustment points. Uh, we're going to refer to them as the macro and the micro adjustment. Now, when I refer to the macro adjustment, I'm referring to, in this case, uh, these positions. As you can see here, the linkage bar, the rear end of the crampon, as you can see, is in the middle position along these three holes. But if we needed to extend or to shorten the effective length of the entire crampon, we have uh, two different uh, adjustment points here. Mine being about a size 9, uh, Euro 42 boot, kind of right there in the middle. But if I needed uh, a longer boot, I could uh, easily move that using the mounting hardware, the Allen key and the wrench, to extend the length of the crampon. If I had a shorter boot, I could extend shrink the length of the crampon by moving this uh, to the uh, first hole there. Uh, the micro adjustment, as you can see here, is controlled with a spring steel clamp, a clip that is actually uh, affixed to the heel piece of the crampon. Now by lifting that and extending this, as you can see, I can lengthen the crampon or I'm going to move it back to its original position. That's adjusted for my boot, which should be three holes. And as you can see, I can adjust the length uh, on a micro scale uh, using the spring steel clamp. And then in addition to those two macro and micro adjustments, you'll also see that our crampons are drilled flat so that you can vary the uh, position of the toe and the heel bale. Now, uh, I'm kind of old school and I learned that the crampons should fit a, uh, a boot rather snugly along the sole length before we engage any of the mechanism. Now, as you can see here, I've adjusted to my boot the micro and the macro adjustments such that uh, when the toe welt is fully seated uh, along the toe veil there, and when I step into the heel piece, you can see we have rather long and wide posts, which enables me to stand into that crampon with a nice snug fit before I even engage the camming mechanism. Now, last but not least, uh, the step that will fully finish the fit of the crampon will be to cam that mechanism. Now, how much tension should we use? I like to have a nice positive snap uh, to that uh, binding system, which really, really uh, then confirms that that crampon is nice and tensioned along that sole length and that the camming mechanism is providing tension. And last but not least, all Gravel crampons should be finished by securing the strap. Most of us will typically have a little excess length of strap and that's best shortened and then fixed by just throwing the backup knot in there and overhand. But crampon fit should feature that buckle on the outside uh, of the boot itself so we don't catch the crampon uh, adjustment strap while we're moving uh, and it should fit nice and snug on a boot like so.